oops. Anyway, as you can see, I'm back, clumsy as ever, and I'm wearing my Dean Ambrose shirt. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm a WWE fan. Duh. Even though my favorite is Roman Reigns. Anyway, anyway, I am back. It's Roshi Ball, y'all, and I am back to give you guys these different hairstyles that you can do with your wigs. I'm just going to try this one. This is Abby. Say hi, Abby. Okay, she said hi. She don't know English. Anyway, so I got a couple of stuff here. I got like little hair accessories here that I can do to show you guys different hairdos you can do with your wigs, whether they're short, long. And if they're too short, I was even thinking about getting um, a very short wig. Just see how it looks. But I don't want my head to look super balloony, like super big with short wigs, but I'll see. Okay, the first hairdo that I'm going to do is... I don't know why I call this, um, I don't know why when I wear this on my head, when I wear this thing right here around my head, I don't know why it makes me feel like I'm some kind of toga warrior princess or something. So this is the first hairdo. What I'm going to do is I got this funky little brush right here. It's pink, so whatever. They have a zebra one, but I couldn't find any more zebra ones. As you can see, I'm not going to really try to brush too hard because number one, I want to comb my edges back and actually I ain't gonna have none and this little flat part right here that I messed up earlier today I cut the lace of my wig in my previous videos you guys will know that um I'm not good at cutting laces but anyway so here I go so what I did was I kind of brushed it back just a little bit uh, they back there fighting so in a few minutes I'm gonna have to park this car on the side of the freeway, turn around to the back seat and regulate. Now, anyway, so I brushed it all back. This is actually one hairdo you can do. If, you, if you're comfortable with, like, which I'm not, but if you're comfortable with wearing your hair like this into a ponytail, you have to work or something, you can wear it like this. You can wear it on the side. That's one hairdo you can do. I wasn't intending on doing this, but this one hairdo you can do. <laughs> You can even have some tendrils coming down on the side. You know, I love these. I don't know why. Like, oh my gosh. I'm not really used to wearing this color, but it's starting to grow on me. Because I always stick with 1B, 1 or 2. The hair colors, either hair color 1, hair color 2, or 1B. Because 1B is the color of my actual real natural hair. So, this is number 4. So this is one hairdo that you can do. I got this from Payless. So I just... Okay. This one hairdo I can do. Let me just go ahead and take these off. Oh, please don't break. I don't know why. This is not really that tight, but... This is one hairdo you can do. This could kind of cover up the bad lace cutting job that I did on this wig. Oh, it's kind of fighting. Oh, we oh, we gonna fight. We gonna fight. We gonna fight. But you get it. This is one hairdo. See how I feel like I'm some kind of toga goddess princess or something? You know? You can put it back a little more. Oh, you almost get, you see Leroy braids? Nobody ain't ready for them Leroy braids. Okay. Just pretend like I did a bomb job with cutting my lace. This is what I'm looking at and this is actually the camera so I always have a problem with doing that in all my videos. This is another hairdo to kind of put it back some. Oh, they fighting. Okay. As you can see, I'm not going to really, I don't want too much of my edges to be out like that because, oh say can you see my edges? Nope. Because they're not there. Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, this is one hairdo I can do. With this, this is one hairdo. You can also put this in the ponytail with this thing on it. See? You can also put it up. Like, kind of like pin it up some kind of way and just work whatever it is you're doing. That's one hairdo. I don't really have my wig securely down on my head. So if y'all see some Leroy braids trying to look to see what I'm doing and being nosy, then, you know, just know. 
This is another hairdo that you guys can do. If you're going out on a date, Valentine's Day, it's single de Mayo, you want to represent whatever. Um, so what I'm doing is taking my funky little brush here, mine. Oh, you can see where it needs some more powder because it's so wicky and shiny. Anyway, yes, I got muscles, so I'm wearing a muscle shirt. You dig? So here we go. What I did was I brushed the whole wig off to one side like this. Okay. And I take a flower. If you're going out on a date, you want to look nice. Just put that flower. Like I said, my edges, you know. And you can just kind of play with it like this. Wear some hooped earrings or studs or whatever you have. Just kind of play with it. And kind of make it look... Put the blame on me, boy. Okay, there you go. And just kind of like Farrah Fawcett it over. Or I said Farrah Fawcett it over. Whatever. The point is you get it. And it could be all on the side. You can either you can even put a bobby pin right here to make this part secure and to make it back. Make sure you brush the edges, like the back part of your hair, because you don't want like taco meat sticking out back there or whatever. Or whatever kind of hair you have, whatever. So you can kind of like wear it like this. That's kind of cute. But or wear it like this. I'd rather my flower be a little closer, like this, to my. That's one hairdo. Okay, that's another hairdo, and that came right off. Anyway, and uh, this is another hairdo. That I kind of like. Then you can just wear it down like this. Kind of give it that Charlie's Angels type look. The tall one from Charlie's Angels. You know. This. All out. You know, maybe you can do two ponytails. Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Something. I don't know. But I'm not going to do that. I heard that I did when I was doing my makeup earlier. I did have the wig on. I had kind of just took the middle. took the middle part and I got this little pin this little clamp and I just try to put it together like this and kind of like spread it out and make it a little like bouffant and then there you go that's another hairdo and you got this little thing this little thing right here you got that hopefully you guys were able to see that so and this can be fluffy out like this you can tease it whatever or you can just kind of tame it Tease it or tame it. This is one hairdo. That's another one. I think I'm going to try to stick with hairdos that's actually going to cover this. The bat. This is where the bat lace job happened. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can also try to find... Oh, this is so... Liberian lady who haven't had none. In a long time, and she's homey, and she needs some kind of Prince Charming to just take her away from all those. This is so librarian, darlings. I don't know why it reminds me of that, but this is another hairdo you can do. This, or you can do one side. Ugh, that is so Mrs. Garrett from Facts of Life, you guys. Tootie, Valerie, or however she sounds, whatever. That's the one hairdo. You either put it over to this side too. <laughs> and lastly, I apologize for going through this video so quick. I just wanted to kind of share with you all some of the hairdos that I would do with this wig. And hopefully if you have this wig or another shorter wig, human hair, human hair blend or synthetic, you can do these hairdos too. Even if your hair is already this long, you can do these hairdos too. Now what I've gotten is this. Okay. No, it's not the draws. No, I'm just kidding. But you can also do this hairdo too. See? In there. Okay, you see how this look in the back? That band? 
Some people wear theirs like that, but I kind of like to hide that. But at the same time, if it's super windy, you can risk hair coming out like this. Like that, and it's not gonna, it's gonna be kind of like, be too jacked up to tame it. And this video is already 10 minutes and 15 seconds. Let me hurry up. Okay, so this is pretty much the last hairdo that I want to show you guys. Um, no. This is it right here. So, this is another one of the hairdos you can do. You can either wear it like this or kind of put it up. This kind of like I did with this right here. You can put it up like this. And kind of put this, yeah. So, from the band being right here, I just kind of pulled it down so it's right here. And this is another way you can secure your wig if you don't have time to really like, or if you didn't really, if you wasn't really sure if you tied it down enough with the combs or bobby pins, put something over it that I keep it, put a hat on for the day, something. So, this is another one of the hairdos that you can do. I personally like this because it makes me look like I'm as pure as a private school girl so picture day anyway so yeah those are some of the hairdos you can do with your wigs or with your real hair no matter how long or short whip your hair um, <laughs> I had to add that in here shout out to Willow Smith um, Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all try some of these different hairdos. If you already did it, then thank you. I was definitely inspired to share my different hairdos that I'm doing with this wig. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon.